my motherfucking goddamn gay attention that motherfuckers is out here being cloned. Oh. Oh. Okay, so as you guys know, I am a huge conspiracy theorist. I believe in every conspiracy, uh, from MK Ultra to the alien conspiracy. And now we have uh, been presented with something of the nature of duplication of genetic sources uh, and multiplying those genetics into creating an entirely uh, similar or identical being as another genetic source. Uh, cloning. Cloning, uh, in my opinion, and in the conspiracies that I uh, frequent, is something that can be done by our government. <clears throat> It can. Okay. So I'm going I'm to present the facts and then I'm going to present my opinion about what the hell is going on. Here recently, uh, Jamie Foxx uh, went under some health concerns and I did pop a receipt on that saying that he would bounce back working harder than ever. Um, during that time period, uh, we were praying for Jamie. We were hoping to see Jamie and then Jamie was finally spotted and everybody was happy about that, right? Um, and we were like, Jamie out here playing pickleball? I thought you just had a concussion or some shit, right? But she has nothing else going on. He had a lot going on and when he did resurface, uh, they were a side by side images being presented from when Jamie was uh, before he had the medical concern to after the medical concern and they're saying that he looks completely different. Uh... That then was echoed by Kanye West, okay? Uh, Kanye West took some time away from social media, re-emerges bigger than he was, re-emerges with what appears to be a different facial structure than what he had, um, and he is uh, gallivanting and doing things in these foreign lands that the old Kanye would have never done. Uncle Johnny made my dress that cheap spandex, she looks a mess. Okay, um, and then... Coincidentally, and you know they hide things in plain sight. For those of you guys who don't know, I do have a master's degree in media studies from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. How you do? Um, and what the media does is they present things to us so that we can subconsciously start to accept it. It makes you start to think about mermaids different. It makes you start to think about fairies different. It makes you start to think about witches, witchcraft, Ouija boards, all of that is subliminally programming us to believe something is fictional when really and truly it is in existence, okay? Um... This uh, is a way of controlling that. Going back to me posting my, my witches in their rituals. Congratulations to all of my witches. Go ahead and get them around the gay applause. You know what I'm saying? I'm quoting somebody I don't know, but they said the easiest way to trick somebody into thinking that they're free is to, uh, it, it, the quickest way to enslave somebody is to have them believe that they're free. So we're posting certain things, but certain things are getting flagged and taken down. That's not freedom. Okay, that's regulation. But it's regulation because we are using a third party. Therefore, that third party has the discretion of utilizing or expressing whatever it wants to. I know I'm getting a little too deep, so let's bring it back. Uh, the question that I have for you real quick before I continue with this, do you believe that Kanye Kanye West and Jamie Foxx are clones. Time up. Okay. Um, whatever your opinion is, I'm going to read it to make sure uh, exactly what it is. But this is my theory. Okay. And this is going to be very abstract. But before I give you my theory really quickly, I'm also going to say that right after Jamie Foxx was seen, he drops a movie with the name of that clone Tyrone. <laughs> Okay, and if you want to go all the way back to the 90s, they said Tupac. Tupac was cloned and he's living as a civilian out here, X, Y, and Z. And that echoes the theory that I attune my energy to. Okay, I'm about to get a bit controversial, so, uh, bitch, uh, you know, uh, brace yourself. The lie detective determined that was a lie. Okay, I have a theory that the powers that be use certain individuals and their talents to push an agenda. After that agenda has been served, they have an option to locate to a place that is not located on the motherfucking map. Okay, I feel like this location is around or at the Bermuda Triangle. Whoa! I know. 
Um, when this person, energy, entity that has been used by the powers that be has served their purpose, they have the option to live out the remaining of their days or go under some genetics to reincarnate their bodies into a clone version of their cells at this location. I feel like there are three to four of these locations on the planet, and I believe that one of them is at the Bermuda Triangle. This is why when commercialized uh, ships or aircrafts go near that place, they are automatically lost. They can't find them. They can't find the ship. They either come out the other way, don't know what the hell went on, X, Y, and Z. I feel like there is a protected area where people who have served the elite's purposes go to, okay, to live out the rest of their days. Prime example, Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina. Okay, Whitney Houston, if you look at that interview she did with Monica and Brandy, okay, she said, I'm going up, I'm going up. And the way she said it, they understood what she was saying in a way that I don't think the general public did, but me as the best psychic in the world. I read into that shit and I said, where you going, Whitney? Okay, where is you going? She was found in a bathtub that same, right after that interview. A year later, Bobby Christina dies in the same way as her mother did, and they're trying to pin it on the boyfriend, right? Okay. In the general public's mind, we accept that as death because you wanted to be with your mother. I accept that as death, saying that your public image is dead and you are literally in a physical location with Whitney Houston. I know. Touchy, touchy, touchy. I believe Prince is over there because right before the day Prince died, he changed his Twitter profile, profile picture from those three eyes. One was closed to the one being opened and then the next day he dies. No, no, I think they over there. They on the island, bitch. They on the island, bitch. They on the island, bitch. That's my theory, okay? So how does that relate to clones? Um, have you guys seen Tom Cruise's uh, stunt doubles? Ooh. They look just like that man. <laughs> okay, they look identical to that man. Um, it's uncanny, and it's actually kind of scary. Uh, do I believe that they've cloned these individuals of Kanye West and Jamie Foxx? I think that they're using lookalikes. I don't feel like they're clones, okay? However... I think I've had my personal experience with lookalikes or clones myself. Uh, that being with Kiki Palmer, to be honest. Okay. I said this to my squad and I said this back on season five. I met Kiki Palmer when she went, uh, came here to Charlotte and I was uh, sent down there to the radio station to psychically read her. Y'all you know, know when I remember. Y'all remember when I worked for the radio station here in front of that, right? Um, and basically, I went down there, I met her. But I didn't feel like I met the real Kiki Palmer. I don't know who that was that I met. And I actually told her that. I was like, you're not Kiki. <laughs> I said, you're not Kiki. Who are you? And she was like, I'm, I'm Kiki Palmer. You know, and, and at that time when I said it, everybody that was on her team was looking around like, and then the way they set up her performance was like so distant away from the audience that I was like, uh -huh. and I got to be honest with you, I also felt like I didn't meet Ari Lennox that night. Okay, I said this on season six. I went to the Ari Lennox concert. Y'all know me and Ari Lennox is cool beans, right? Um, but I was joking with her in a way that we would joke during our sessions and the clone or the lookalike didn't know what I was talking about. Um, and then I felt like I got rooted at that concert because I felt like the powers that be knew that I was conscious. They knew that I knew that that wasn't no damn Ari and they had to get me to fuck up out of there. These are just my theories based upon my own intellectual events. Again, this is my conspiracy theory about clones. I don't think that... Well, see, this is the thing. Science can already dematerialize a, a, a item and then rematerialize it somewhere else. This is a product of the product accelerator that I researched over the weekend. Um, they can do that with inanimate objects. I don't know if they've mastered to do that with animate objects, that being living creatures. Um, but what I will say is that uh, <laughs> I'll let Kiki say it. It's some spooky shit going on. I realize that it's a little bit political and it's going to get a little bit spooky ooky. I don't know if I could really roll with it. You know, I might end up slapping the hell out of one of my sisters. So I don't know if it's for me. 
But much love to anybody that's down with it. Kudos to you. So I am about to read to see if Jamie Foxx or Kanye West is a clone. My tarot don't lie. Um, but do clones have a spirit to read? You know, like, and then I watched this show called Morrigan um, uh, over the weekend where they basically genetically created a human being and that human being lost his mind because they didn't have no soul. Um, I think that there's technology that we don't know about. I believe that there are uh, inner workings dealing with the elite and the hierarchy of society that uh, will leave some of us feeling discombobulated. But for now, what I'm going to do is read to see if Jamie Foxx or if Kanye West is indeed a motherfucking damn clone. Let's get it. Can I read this? Well, that card is upright, and this one is, too. This says you need to read it. Okay, so I will. All right, so let me get some suspenseful music going, because I, I don't know why I'm feeling uh, kind of intimidated to read this. Where's my suspense music? Here you go. <coughs> Spirit, is Kanye West a motherfucking clone? This says no, but this is saying that he's undergoing some type of mind control. We're not bearing witness to the real Kanye West. That's what this is saying. This is saying we are bearing witness to um, someone else that has his likeness. Um, did they put his mind in a new body or something? The strength card shows up upright. No. So is this a is this a lookalike who was programmed in Kanye's image? The spirit card is upright. That is a yes. That is a motherfucking yes. Nigga, please. <laughs> Nigga, please. Okay, so what you're telling me is that the real Kanye West is not being visible right now and somebody who looks like him, you downloaded his memories? This says yes. Jamie Foxx, is this the same situation? The Oracle shows up upright, that's a yes. So let me get this straight. You're transferring the content. So you have, okay. Well, that would make sense because I recently saw an article that said they can download your loved ones into a fucking computer. They said they can do that. They said, they said you can upload, they said save all the pictures and videos from your loved ones and you can upload it into a computer and actually talk to your loved ones after they pass away. That's where technology started. So not only can they upload it, they can download it into different individuals. Are these individuals genetically born or are these individuals born the natural way? This is science. Science, okay. You're taking genetic material from certain individuals and you are creating test tube babies in their image and then downloading the memories into them. That's a clone then, right? You moon shows up upright. It's not called cloning. It's not cloning. Cloning is a direct copy. This is not a copy. This is we're creating life and downloading that life from the memories of other living creatures. I'm done. I'm done with this bullshit. Oh, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast. The breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast. Okay, I got one more question. Are we going to see the real people again? We're not going to know when we do. So they're just going to have an effortless switch off here. Are they going to use both? Like both are in one time and one space? They've already been doing this shit. That's why I feel like I am. Yep, 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 yep. That, yeah, 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 yeah,
riddled with propaganda right now. The Duchess shows up upright to condition our minds to accept things in the future. Same thing I just got done talking about with media theory. Okay, is there any other thing that you want to want to tell me, Spirit? The Rumai's car shows up upright. Um, whether they were genetically created or not, they're still living creatures and we should treat them with love. So, I love you, clone bitch. <laughs> just, you know... I really feel like I'm unclonable, but I better not push my luck talking about this shit. Time to read you. Uh, the tip jar is open. Uh, www.spiritsquad.org backslash tip jar. Use code Beyonce. Again, if your question is not answered on this show, 24 to 48 hours for it to come to your technological device or your email. I am ready to read.